So now in this video we're going to measure resistance with a meter that has ranges. So first we want to make sure red probe is where the omega symbol is for resistance, black probe where there's com. And we need to set the meter to a resistance that's higher than what we're going to measure. But uh, it's not a disaster if it isn't uh, set high enough. You'll just have to adjust it. So our first uh, resistor, notice there's no power attached to it. We got to make sure there's no voltage across it because that could damage the meter. So there you can see somewhere about 1.5 ohms. This is a low value resistor. So I purposely am going to leave the setting where it is. But there you can see we got a resistor that is part of a circuit. But if I release the switch, it's open on one side. And just like these other ones have an opening on both sides, no currents flowing through them. No current can flow through this one. So I didn't change the setting. It's less than 200, which was too low. So to get uh, the most accurate reading, we're gonna go a little bit higher, or the next highest uh, setting, I should say, than what the resistor is. This has some weird uh, ranges of uh, resistance there. But in case now I'm not pressing the button, we can take a measurement. So it's 220 ohms, uh, that's 0.213 kilo ohms, which is the same as 213 ohms. Pretty much what we were getting with the other meter. So the next one's a pretty high value re resistor, so we're gonna go to 200K. A little bit higher than it is and I wasn't 100 percent sure what this uh, value was uh, I knew it was 47 something but uh, there you can see it's actually uh, 46.3 K so that's 46,300 right there so uh, pretty simple even with the ranged meter a couple things want to make sure you uh, turn the power off when you're done quick press turns the back lid on and also I suggest always setting the meter to measure a high voltage when you're done because you don't want to measure a voltage when the meter is set to measure resistance. 